Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm vlogging a very weird, wonderful occasion. I'm getting married. It's such, it's such a weird thing because it's the 31st of July 2020 and we're in the middle of a global pandemic. I'm getting married during coronavirus. So at the time of recording, um, I live in the UK and that's where we're getting married. They allow 30 guests to get married in either a religious or civil ceremony. But that 30 guests is more like 30 guests because you have to have um, two of those guests needs to be your registrars um, and then any other suppliers as well. So we're having a photographer. So for us, it's like 27 guests. We really pushed it to the max for that. Um, and of course, yes, there's also other caveats to the ceremony, social distancing, um, people have to stay in their households, etc. No food and drink during the ceremony. However, I have told all of my guests to bring water with them because we're getting married outside and today it's highs of 33 degrees. So it's gonna be an absolute scorcher and I don't want anyone <laughs> falling unwell or dehydration or anything like that because the current guidelines say no food or drink during the ceremony but I'm sure sensibly one can hydrate oneself. The Royal Berkshire Hotel in Ascot came up. When I tell you this venue has just blown me away from the word go, I really mean it. I recommend them highly 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 especially during this entire situation we are their first wedding out of lockdown um, it's going to be ceremony only and they're actually in the middle of having some kind of refurbishments because their refurbishments obviously got pushed back due to everything so they upgraded us to the penny hill park and spa upgraded both of our rooms so the night before which is where i've just been with my mum and then the night of the wedding we get to be here at penny hill park and spa their sister venue and they've put us up in this incredible suite um i will insert a clip here of when what it looked like before i started opening my case and strewning everything across the room so this is the entryway to our uh, suite. There's just a powder room in there. You come in over here. Nice views outside. panelling then you go up bloody stairs so you go up the stairs wardrobe TV chairs and then the bathroom nice big tub walk-in shower I've never been in anything so fancy I don't know if I ever will again but you know what hey I'll live it up for now this is a really personal decision I know so many brides are going through the same thing, um, wondering whether or not they should go ahead with a small ceremony, postponing, cancelling altogether. Stuff was getting booked up left, right and centre, so a lot of people have now been pushed further into a couple of years down the line, and it obviously can interrupt your life plans. People want to get houses, have kids, and all those kinds of things, and weddings are quite expensive. so let alone, you know, it's a it's a joyous family occasion. So I really do feel for all my other brides-to-be and you've just got to make the right decision for yourself. We're going to have our small, intimate wedding today with our 20-odd guests and a meal afterwards. 
and then next year in spring we'll have the big shebang but I will say it has definitely taught me I mean I kind of always wanted a smaller wedding um Alex wanted the big big to do and he still does but it's definitely taught me what what matters and what doesn't you know do I need to spend money on this do I need xyz will people remember xyz is that important probably not you know um I would have had a videographer but I don't hence why I'm I'm vlogging this just so I have the memories of like my emotions and how the day went etc I would have had hair and makeup and all of that kind of thing and I'm going to try and do it myself I'm not going to film my hair right if you're new to my channel subscribe I do talk about hair and beauty but today of all days people I just don't want my hair to go wrong so kind of feel like do I actually need them probably not um, I've got two bridesmaids my awesome best friends small bouquets little flower thing just for photos sake and that's it Alex has got his suit his groomsmen don't have suits they're just wearing their smart suits that they already have and I actually think it's going to be really really good let me show you my dress <laughs> this coronavirus and everything I feel really really safe I don't feel at all uncomfortable to stay here because obviously you are with other members of the general public kind of thing but they have sanitizers everywhere they've got personalized sanitizers in your room um, they did temperature checks on arrival all of the staff are wearing masks all the restaurant and everything was spread out appropriately and distanced appropriately you had your own packaged cutlery like they really definitely have paid attention to detail and safety and I do feel really safe here and I still feel like they haven't compromised on the luxury experience if you're looking for a staycation I definitely recommend here and the Royal Berkshire because both of them have just treated us so well and yeah it's just been worth every penny but my train of thought was on my dress i will show in better detail when i put it on but i borrowed a step ladder to pop it up there because with the um current guidelines they can't handle our luggage or anything so i was like can i borrow a step ladder and i'll hook it up here because it needs to hang high and all the creases need to drop out and they have done so which is great that being said i am getting back into a car um so I don't know exactly, I think this is 1.8 or something, I think the details are on there. It's a long one. It covers the train on my dress, so it's a very long single tier veil. And then obviously I've got my dress, this is Mori Lee dress, the sparkle net tool underneath. Very, very pretty. Okay, now I'm starting to get a bit nervous. It's 20 past 10. I've just finished curling my hair. This is not my hairstyle. I've just curled it so that it's got time to drop if it wants to drop. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'll finish off my hair. So just waiting on room service. We've got it here, but we're just waiting on some cutlery and some things and then we'll have something to eat. But now I'm getting nervous that I don't wanna eat. <laughs> So actually I think it's come at the right time because then I can slowly pick at it and keep myself full for the day. So this is our room service. I've got oat milk latte, mum's got tea or a pot of tea so I'm actually going to have some tea. Um, a selection of pastries, my mum's got, oh, I don't know which one's which but yeah that's my mum's eggs. Benedict, I should have ham and cheese omelette, looks yummy, and some toast and butter. And this is what I meant about the packaged cutlery. So they obviously minimise touching and what have you. So we've just come downstairs into the suite to eat. I think we'll eat on these two chairs, so we'll get something set up for us. Woohoo! Exciting! This is so exciting! Yes! I'm sharing this with you, darling. Thank you for watching.
another Alex a card and he got me a card. Hmm. So I'll open that in a minute before I do my makeup in case I cry. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm crying. I'm not in a crying mood. Mm -hmm. But I am really excited. And that's and I cried when he proposed to me because I was mm -hmm. so excited. So I know. I know the difference in cries. So we'll have to see what happens. All right, it is makeup time. I'm just going to show you the card that my soon-to-be husband got for me. Sorry, it's blurry. It says, to my beautiful wife. <laughs> I'm not going to read the, the message that's inside. Um, but oh, I just am so fortunate to be marrying this man. Honest to God, if, you, if you're getting married, you just know that that person's the person that you just want to spend the rest of your life with. And gosh, I, I came close to it. You know, the tears. I'm trying to, I don't know, not cry today? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but this already I'm coming close to it. <laughs> I'm sort of mixing two foundations. I'm using Bobbi Brown's Intensive Skin Serum Foundation with SPF 40 in the shade Warm Honey 5.5. This is really dewy, it's perfect if you've got um, dry skin, it's really nice. But I've caught like the tiniest bit of sun. So around the perimeter of my face, I'm going to use Fenty Beauty's original foundation in the shade 360. This is my summer shade. So I'm gonna start, I've moisturized my face and because I've got dry skin, I apply a little bit extra moisturiser just here so that it doesn't like collect because it tends to look a little bit patchy for me around here. Also, I don't like this. Um, you can't really see it, but this scar on my nose is a chicken pox scar, so it's not, you know, I haven't been through the wars, it's not something like I can celebrate. And I already have a green birthmark to the side of my face, so I'm going to try and conceal this a little bit today. Right, people, I have um, done my hair and makeup. I've actually just recurled it. It's waves, but I was getting a bit nervous that the curls were dropping uh, a bit too quickly. Obviously, I've still got about an hour and a half to go and I want the photos to look nice and stuff. So I've just recurled them, a couple of them, so they can drop again. By the time I get to the venue, I've done my makeup. My camera ran out of battery when I was doing my makeup. And, you know, today of all days, it's just not the day to be like, oh, yes, let me plug it in and wait 20 minutes and then I'll get back to doing what I was doing on camera. I haven't got the time. I'm starting to get very nervous now, but excited it's like it comes in these waves it's like i'm doing something like curling my hair and i'll sort of kind of forget why i'm curling it and then i'll be like oh my god i'm getting married mental the room is a mess now it's an absolute tip <laughs> because we've tried to get everything sorted and ah! ready something old my vivian westwood bag white Vivian Westwood bag. I thought that would be quite good. So that's my bridal bag with all my bits and pieces. But yeah, that's my something old, something new on my shoes, which I'll show you in just a second. Something borrowed, funny enough, just happened in this room with my mum. She um, was looking at her accessories and her bag and her shoes are more towards the silver side. She was going to wear her Christian Dior gold bracelet. Um, but yeah, as I said, she thought, oh, actually my silver bracelet would be better with that. So I was like, can I borrow it? Because that'd be perfect because I hadn't had anything to borrow. So I'm going to wear it and that's perfect for me because my ring is gold. I tend to wear gold jewelry. Something blue are my earrings. You're not going to be able to see that at all. But the stone in these earrings are blue. Um, I think from now... I'll, I'll show you a shot of me in my dress, but after that, I will be on my phone, plus obviously I'll be getting married, so somebody else might take up um, a camera for me and have a couple of clips or photos that I can include for you um, on my wedding day. <laughs> Oh, 
vlogging this. So I'm in the car with Eleanor, mum, it's sweltering. I've got my dress all stuffed here, end up being a mad dash in the last minute. That's just typical, isn't it? But uh, yeah, feeling good, feeling positive and on my way to my wedding day. Oh, and my strap has popped off. That's not broken. It's a detachable strap, but it's just popped off. So we'll need to hook it back when we get there. <laughs> include some bits and bobs look at me it was 36 degrees it was sweltering um, our poor guests were like squidged into the sides of the wall garden where they could get a bit of shade but our venue was awesome got everyone cold water and brought out some parasols as well my makeup has melted off like completely i did try setting spray but there was there was no hope especially my eye makeup i look like a panda i had straps on my dress they they're detachable and i was like poof they're coming off <laughs> like it's just far too hot and i've just been walking around don't know if you can see I need to get this boxed up and cleaned because we are having another celebration in the spring. So yeah, I'm just so pleased. We're back here at the Penny Hill Park and Spa. We're gonna make great use of the facilities here, but I thought I would just round this up and yeah, this is what it was like to get married during a pandemic. We had 20 odd guests in sweltering heat. Everyone's temperature was taken and checked. Everyone's sanitized. Um, yeah, we got married, we had the best registrars ever, Sarah and Viv um, of the Royal Windsor and Maidenhead Borough, 10 out of 10 recommend them. Then we went to the Broom Hall Hut, which is about five minutes away from our ceremony and Carl there is absolutely just spot on like it, it felt like a proper wedding, how he served all of our guests and the food, everyone loved the food. Man, it, it was just what you'd want. It was just what you would want. And considering it was not what we originally planned, we had 200 guests, you know, swung right down to 26. Um, but I wouldn't change a thing. It was the best day of my life. Like everyone says it, I, I truly felt it. It was the best day of my life. So yeah, now I'm just gonna drink some water because I'm dehydrated and um, enjoy the rest of the night. Morning, this is my fun bun. <laughs> Um, I thought I was going to end my vlog yesterday, but I actually thought I would kind of have a little quick catch up reflection chat about the day. It was absolutely incredible. And it's it's in insane how much planning goes into a wedding, big or small, all the little details and things you do to make sure that your day is special and that your guests enjoy the day as well. And then it just happens so bloody quickly. Like I've been planning this for 18 months and that's it. Like I'm married now, it's done, you know? I mean, we still do have the big party to go. And right now I'm just like in this really amazing love bubble. Like, I just feel so, so fortunate and blessed to have all the family and friends that we have. Like, my gratitude knows no bounds for these people because I do feel like it's moments in this, in this, in this situation and in weddings and everything that you really, really do feel that and get to experience that. It's so funny because I said at the beginning of my vlog how... Um, the guidelines were going to change again tomorrow. During our wedding like meal, um, we got the news that they're kind of stopping weddings or they've they've certainly gone back on their easing of wedding receptions. And I've heard that there might be a case of having to wear masks in certain 
spaces and what have you and it is a real tough time for brides to be it really is i know it seems like first world problems but there's a lot of personal reasons behind people wanting to get into a union the situation keeps changing keeps fluctuating but ultimately it's just about saying staying safe um it's still a lovely day today but we're just going to take it easy we're reveling in all of our friends kind cards and messages and photos of the day and just getting to relive the moment it was so special and it's funny because things went wrong let me tell you sod's law i am a perfectionist and things went wrong they got my bouquet wrong first of all i was late so that was on me because um doing up my dress took way longer than we thought it would because although it's got a zip the little loop buttons take a lot of effort so then I got to the ceremony and I just felt so bad for my guests because it was 36 degrees out which is not hot in many countries but in England it's a very cloying suffocating type of heat it's not a nice holiday heat you know it's really hot and we're not used to that kind of temperature we're not acclimatized to that temperature so I just felt so bad for my guests so that was giving me that kind of anxiety and pressure yeah then my bouquet wasn't actually what I had ordered um but it was amazing I remember thinking at the time like I, I was getting married and it was like I was just doing it like it was just it was just happening and then after the wedding like when we were gathering to take photos, because of you, of course, usually that's when you'd have all your canapes and drinks and stuff. But with the situation, you're not allowed to do that. Of course, because it was hot, everyone was given some water, thankfully. But yeah, everyone was just trying to gather in shade and everything. And I just had this like bad, like I felt so guilty for my friends. And I was so grateful that they came, but you know, and could have never predicted it would be so hot in during this whole situation. It's like we had so much to contend with. So I'm actually really glad that we had a smaller occasion because I would have felt like I needed to really check on like a hundred people, you know? So, so I'm kind of glad that we had just like our small intimate wedding now. And that just releases so much pressure. By the time we got to our restaurant for our meal, it was incredible, amazing. All of our friends and family were chatting with one another, getting on with one another. Oh, it was just spe so special. It was just the best day I could have ever asked for, ever. And now it means that next spring, as if we hopefully get to have everything that, the way that we originally had planned, it's just going to be even better because I'm going to be so chilled. I'm going to be so prepared. I'm going to know how to do X, Y, and Z. <laughs> if anyone wants any tips, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll give you all the advice and anything necessary. If anyone is wondering, obviously because of the situation, um, I planned it to a T. I really worked with the Royal Berkshire and within the current guidelines or guidelines at the time of my wedding, it's obviously different now, um, to ensure that everybody was safe. So all of our guests had their temperatures checked on arrival and sanitised their hands. All of the seats were name tagged and socially distanced. For the meal, again, we only had tables per six and those six were household groups or friendship groups as is acceptable at restaurants, sanitized again. Um, yeah, couldn't hug and squeeze. It was a lot of air hugs going along, a lot of socially distanced photos, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I wouldn't change it for the world. It was the people. It was the people that made it. It was the moment that made it. It was the union itself, getting married, however you want to do it. Two of you, four of you, six of you, 30 of you, 100 of you, 400 of you. However you want to do it, man, your special day will be incredible. And with that, I bid you farewell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Me and my fun bun are probably going to go back to sleep. <laughs> I'm married. I'm a wife.